Hi guys, morning, all the way from Isle of Sky. Welcome to my short video blog. Uh, glorious day here on Isle of Sky. Really, really nice. We've been weather like this for the past four or five days, and it's an absolute gift. Um, I woke up this morning and uh, started thinking about the fact that nothing is permanent. Um, for example, we look at this uh, this small tree. It's beginning to get leaves. A week ago, there were no leaves at all. And come the autumn, all the leaves will come down. Uh, this tree here uh, has got no leaves at all. Uh, I think in a few days' time, a couple of uh, weeks' time. Oh no, leaves are beginning to appear actually. I just saw, but no, not not very visible until you go quite close to it. So nothing is permanent. I'm just taking you to the other parts of the garden. And we'll see what we see. And even the grass, I, I mowed the lawn yesterday in the in the back of our garden. Uh, the grass was quite high. And my wife said to me, Rish, you know, you really get to get your finger out and, and do some work in the garden. So we worked in the garden for um, six or seven hours yesterday. And it was so enjoyable. Um, just walking here. And we come to some more trees. These, this is an apple tree. That's an apple tree as well. Now, of course there are no apples on here, but you may have seen uh, some of my pictures from last year. There are beautiful apples on these trees. I don't know whether we'll get apples this year or not, I'm not sure. But again, it's an example of impermanence. Apples come, um, we collect them, we eat them, um, we do all sorts of things with uh, with apples. We make apple crumble and so on. So just uh, even the weather today is not going to last. Um, that's another example of impermanence. So why am I talking about impermanence? Well, pain or suffering, suffering rather than pain, happens because. Uh, we get used to things being permanent. Although deep down, deep down, we know that they are not permanent, but we get attached to attached to those things. Um, just showing you the views while I walk around. And uh, so, just going back to suffering, the more we get attached to things, to money, to wealth, our jobs, career, etc., when it ends, because as I said, nothing is permanent. We suffer, don't we? Some more than others. Until we realize that, listen, this is not helping me at all. So, um, as a result of that, we begin to see other things that we can do, for example, in terms of our career. Um, beautiful view here. The mountains, not so long ago, there was snow on the mountains again. It wasn't permanent. I knew that. I took some pictures and I may have posted some pictures on Instagram. Again, that's another example of impermanence. And I come to our decking. Um, you can see the chairs. The paint is peeling off on the chair. On the chairs, rather. I need to paint these chairs. Again, another example of impermanence. When they were painted, they looked really nice, new, and now the paint has come out. So this is in the front of the garden. So think about impermanence in the sense that nothing lasts. And think about suffering. It's our attachment to something which has a form, like our house, like our career, like money, like wealth, like etc. that causes suffering. All right, until next time, guys. Have a good day. Catch you soon. Bye for now. Bye.